Hello everyone. I'm sorry that members of Open the Book can't come and visit you in your schools, but we've joined together as um, storytellers to be able to use our technical skills on the computer uh, with help from Mr. Sanderson and the Reverend Tiffany Jackson to uh, bring you the stories. If you were out for a walk and you saw a bush on fire, what would you do? Would you shout for help? Call the fire brigade? You wouldn't ignore it, could you? Well, in our story today, God used a burning bush to get the attention of someone. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, something even more amazing than that happened. Well, I think we'd better read the story. The Burning Bush. Moses' skin was burned dark brown. And suddenly he saw it, a bright red burning bush. Its branches crackled orange and red, and Moses could not help watch, for the bush did not burn up. Take off your shoes, came a voice from the bush. This is a very special place. Who are you? asked Moses. And why are you talking to me? I'm just a poor shepherd. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of Israel, the voice replied. And you are more than a shepherd. You are Moses, the man I have chosen to lead my people out of Egypt. I can't do that. Moses trembled. I left Egypt years ago. And I'm an old man now. You can do it. You must do it. God answered. For my people are slaves in Egypt and have prayed to be set free. I have heard their prayers and you are the man I have chosen. But what if I go and they don't believe you sent me? Moses asked. <laughs> Take the walking stick that's in your hand, God said, and throw it on the ground. Moses did as God told him, and the stick turned into a wriggling snake. Now pick it up, God commanded. Moses wrapped a shaking hand round the snake's scaly middle, and it turned back into a stick. Show them that, God that laugh. then they'll believe you. But I'm so shy, Moses continued. I'm no good at talking to people. Don't worry about that, God assured him. Your brother Aaron loves to talk. You can take him with you. Now go, my people need your help. So Moses went, he put on his shoes, he picked up his walking stick and he went off to set God's people free. Moses said, I can't do that and had all sorts of excuses, but we know from the Bible that he did do the job for God. He went to Pharaoh in Egypt and eventually Pharaoh let God's people go, but it wasn't easy and it took a lot of courage and determination. Moses knew he wasn't the brave, bold sort. He thought he couldn't do the task God gave him, but with God's help he could. Even though Moses was a shy man who wasn't good at talking to people, God chose him to do a special job. Think about a time when you have thought, not me, I couldn't do that. Maybe your teacher has asked you to stand up in front of everyone and read something, or when you have been chosen to be in a team. Think about how you can believe you can do it. Now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, when we are faced with a task that seems much too big for us, help us to remember Moses. Although he was afraid and unwilling, willing, thank you that with your help, 
he set out to rescue the people of Israel from slavery. Amen.